Good morning, Dan Watcher. Good morning, intercessors. And good morning, warriors. We are now in day number five. Great commandment and great commission. But before anything else, these two great in the Bible was working hand in hand. Let's do first a study what's the meaning of, let's get first the meaning of commandment and commission. Commandment is a law. Commission, it is a task that given to us or instruction or duty that we need to do. And also, before we read the verse in great the, of the Great Commandment and Great Commission, let me remind you of GCI vision and strategy. The vision of GCI is the fulfillment of the Great Commandment by loving God and loving others. And the fulfillment of Great Commission by multiplication of discipleship. And our strategy is win, connect, train, and send. Now, let me read the, the word, his word, the great commandment, and the great commission. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And the great command and the great commission is will be found in Matthew 28, 18 to 20. And Jesus said, came, come and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even at the end of age. As we can see, this two, this, this two word is the greatest. Why? It was called Great Commandment and Great Commission. The Great Commandment was the law that we need to follow. The Great Commission is the duty that instructed to us to do. As Douglas Small said, Great Commission is a proclamation or what we tell. But the Great Commandment is the incarnation what they see and, and how they see to us. In short, in short, it's going and making disciples is an instance of loving God and our neighbor. Again, I will ask you in the middle of pandemic, what are you doing, brothers and sisters? What are you doing? Are you serving the kingdom and forget the king? Or you're serving the king and serve it and forget the kingdom. In this in this topic, we should always remember it's not that what we do, but what God can do through us. So we need him to take fully over and we just need to follow him. Let's make it deeper. Why? The Great Commandment is a lifestyle of worship, adoration, and love to God and give the expression, expression of love of God to others. It is in the heart, through our heart, through the bottom of our heart, doing everything for His Kingdom. And the Great Commission, that is the express of God's love to us to save us and he want us to be with him again brothers and sisters let us be reminded first and foremost to seek to, to love god with our entire body soul mind and even strength 
is trying to be filled with the fullness of God that we can read in Ephesians 3.19. It says, it says, to know the love, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Remember, brothers and sisters, it is given to us to follow. That once we accepted Christ, it's not just accepting Him, but we need to serve Him. Remember, in serving Him, we need to share it to others, that others may share it to, to others also, so that His kingdom will be full. His kingdom that we might, all of us, might be there in His kingdom. And I will end in the word of Rick Warren. He said, A great commitment to a great commandment and a great commission will grow the great church. And we all know that we are the church. If we want to grow poor, deeper in love with Him, we must do, we must do what He wants us to do. To God be the glory.